Josh on the line from Sun City, California. Hey, Josh, Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Hello. Hi, Leo. Hey. I'm frustrated with Apple. Yeah, you know, technology can be frustrating. What exactly is happening? I have an 11 year old son, yep. and I would like him to stop getting all of my email <laughs> on his tablet. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you would. So I thought it'd be neat, and the Apple genius said I should set up the family share for him. Yes, family share is awesome. That so way he I can, went through. That way he'll see. I, he can listen to the music you buy. He can watch the movies you buy on your account without actually accessing your account. Right. So I created the. Uh, I went through and I created the Apple ID for a child. Yes. But I get a statement saying that I only have a debit card and that I need if uh, that I. Prove that I am an adult. Right. I need to enter a credit card. Right. They're not going to use that for. It's confusing because it implies that well, you have to send. You have to. We're going to buy something. But this is actually uh, a, a side effect of the law, uh, federal law called the Child Online Privacy and Protection Act, or COPPA. Mm -hmm. A kid under 13 has to have parental consent. Now. Companies, websites can decide how they want to prove that that's an adult giving parental consent. But Apple's decided that by using the security code, the CVV, on the back of a credit card, you prove that you have that credit card. And, of course, you couldn't have a credit card if you were under 13. Right. So that's their method. It says after you create the ID with a credit card, you can change the payment method back to a debit card. So I have to apply for a credit card. You don't have a credit card? No, I'm well, an adult. I pay how do I? Things. How do I know you're a grown-up then? My gosh, you could be a <laughs> deep-voiced 12-year-old. Yeah, that's exactly. a good... There's a loophole, isn't it? If What if you don't have a credit card? Right. Well, I don't do know. I have... How could you be an American and not have a credit card? You pay I'm your bills with cash? Are you insane? <laughs> You know, that is a little bit of a uh, of an assumption on Apple's part. Um, and I'm just looking at their, you know, the kid ID that they talk about on the Apple support mm -hmm. page. And, yeah, before you begin, make sure you're using a credit card as your... Well, how do you buy stuff on the, uh, on the iTunes store? Use a debit card. I use my Visa debit card. And that's how I use Apple Pay, my Visa debit card. Got it. It says, if the card on file is a debit card or another payment method, you'll be asked to provide a credit card before you can continue. That's, you know what? I would call Apple support and say, come on, there's got to be a loophole here. I did, and for an hour and a half I was on the phone, and then they actually asked me to go find a, uh, a cellular network to get off my Wi-Fi, and so I drove about... 10, 15 minutes down the road. What? And it didn't work. And then Apple called me back. Called me back. I went through three operators and upper tech support. Holy cow. And you have to be an adult to use it. And the only way you can prove that you're an adult is if you are a good American with a credit card. Wow. Well, I'm being a little frustrated, too. Um, that's it, you know, and, and I should say that this is not part of the COPPA law. This is, the, the COPPA law only says that the, the, the site has to somehow, you know, prove you're an adult. I would think that Apple would have some system where you could send them a copy of your driver's license or something. Um, cause, cause not everybody, uh, guess what? Apple has a credit card. Right. Um, that they is were, just weird. Text. Tech support was shocked that they had to go through this, and then yeah. he had to go to his managers to figure out the whole thing. It's just, it's crazy. I would, here's what I would do. I mean, if you want to help everybody in future, write mm -hmm. to Tim Cook, the CEO okay. of Apple, because Tim has a very, has a large department called the uh, the Office of the uh, Chief Executive that is does, that is there to answer email and, and letters, letter be better, to the, the CEO and they're very good about handling that. And I think it should be brought to Tim Cook's attention because, you know what, he's a sensitive guy. I think he mm -hmm. really does want to do the right thing and say, you know, not every parent 
has a credit card. You allow the use of debit cards for Apple accounts. That's what I use. I would like to use family sharing. I would like for you to have an alternative verification method so that I can get my kid on a family sharing account. That seems completely legitimate. And, you know, I would, I bet you anything that you will get a response from Tim Cook's team. You might even get a response from Tim himself. Thank you. That's a great idea. Yeah. Tim I'll Cook, one, in, one infinite, Tim Cook, Apple Computer, one infinite loop, Cupertino, California. I don't know what the zip code is. I'll look it up. <laughs> okay. You know, <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you brought this up. That is a that is an interesting loophole. Um, and I think it is uh, really unfair of them to assume that everybody has a credit card. And you certainly shouldn't have to get a credit card just so you can s sign your kid up. You, you might even want to, if you have more than a few hundred Twitter followers, you might even want to tweet at Tim Cook and, uh, and let him know. This is a very interesting question. Wonder why they don't accept debit cards. Is it because, I don't know, are they, could a kid have a debit card? I don't think so. They sound like they do have a, some sort of weird backup verification system that involves the cell phone. <laughs> I think they could do better. Come on, folks. There's, you know, this is why we invented technology, not to make life more bureaucratic. I bet you anything Tim Cook would respond to that.